Some photographers love automation and some photographers like to custom design everything themselves. I'm going to show you how to custom design any spread in Fundy Designer and save it as a template. Let's dive in. You have the one click design wizard. You also have dozens and dozens and dozens of layouts pre-made, but what if you want to make your own design? Well, it couldn't be easier. So I'm going to delete all the images on this spread and show you how easy it is to design. First, we're going to drop one image on the spread and there's one image in this drop zone and I'm going to place the drop zone exactly where I want it. And then the thing to remember with drop zones is there are a few different ways you can utilize drop zones over here. So one of the things I'm fitting the image to its original ratio. I'm going to click that to unfit it and now it will just fill that drop zone. So I'm going to move that here. Now remember if you'd like grid options you can hit the G key and then you will snap to these grids and under the view menu you can change the size of these grids. So you can pretty much do whatever you would like. Now let's go ahead and select these three images here and I'm going to drop them together. And now we have three images within one drop zone. And then you have the real power because then you can move these around and place them wherever you would like. Now I have a vertical and two horizontals. And let's say I decide I want to add this vertical to this grouping. I can just drop it right there. Once you have images in the grouping, you can kind of do whatever you want. I'm going to bring this image down here. And now we have a little bit better of a layout in the grouping. We can grab between these images and adjust the drop zone here. I can move this up and down here. I can replace an image and we have a ton of options up here. I can make all of the images square. I can make all of the images vertical. You can do whatever you'd like here. And once I have that into place, I'm ready to go. One thing to be careful of, our automated designs do this automatically, but I'm going to hit the G key again and again and you'll notice that we have this red cut line. So most likely this red line will be cut off. What we want to do is we want to make sure that all of the images are centered between the right edge of this red line and left edge of this photo. So it will snap into place or you can use these alignment icons. So I'm going to click this alignment right here. And now I know for certain that the white space within the red line and the right edge of these images are all exactly the same. So everything will not only be centered, but look centered when it goes to print. And once this design is done, if you'd like to save it as a template, simply go up here and click the pin icon. And now that's been saved to your designs. Let's go ahead and go to this page and we can click layouts and then my designs and then we'll see this is the exact same design, but with more images. So it takes the principles of that design and it can apply it to any design. We hope this tutorial helped you learn how to design anything in Fundy Designer. Save it as a template. For more tips, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll help you build a more profitable business.